Hi, Kirti. Hi, Ronaldo. How are you doing? Doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, so, we're going to have a little conversation about our new... Uh, excitement in the industry. Excitement in the industry. <laughs> Language Weaver got acquired right. by SDL. You used to work at Language Weaver. Yep, yep. So, what do you, what did you think about it? I, I think it's a, it's a great coup for Mark Chaplin. You know, he got a lot of money for something. Oh, that, he did too. <laughs> he got a lot of money for something that might not be quite as worth as much as... But, but do you mean him personally or uh, I the think, investors? I think both. Investors, and probably he got some too. Okay, you good. There, there, there are probably a handful of people that walk out with millions of dollars. That's not bad. Yeah. We, maybe we should give him a call and See ask him to pay dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're, you're more modest. You want a drink. I, I would ask for dinner. Right. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I found that very interesting because... Uh, I noticed that Language Weaver had sort of disappeared a little bit uh, mm -hmm. from the market. It wasn't really being very active. Uh, mm -hmm. Asia Online and Google uh, were getting a lot more buzz than, than Language Weaver. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. the news was that they, they got acquired by SDL. Right. Um, and and I, w I was really surprised because right. I was in Hawaii and it was like... Uh, 11 o'clock at night when they announced in, in London and mm -hmm. I, I see this thing popping up and mm -hmm. everybody else was asleep and I said, I was tired. Mm -hmm. I need to write something about this stuff. And, and uh, mm -hmm. then, as I mentioned, you came around with your comments and, and so on. But I, for me, the, the first reaction was that this was a very good deal for, for SDL in the sense that recently we had this uh, announcement from Lionbridge with a yeah. deal with, with uh, um, WebSphere from IBM. Right. Yeah. And their stock just pfft, yeah. took but, off. But their stock was climbing before, yeah. actually, before that actually happened. And I noticed that in the STL case, the stock actually went down. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think the drivers for the Lionbridge thing maybe were something different. Yeah. But it, 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 what value... Did that did that add any value? Did you were you yeah. concerned with the IBM deal and and uh, Lionbridge? Not really. I mean, I I saw you know the the, Lion, the IBM technology has pretty much been invisible. You know, yeah. it, it's been around. It had some visibility in the U.S. government, and you know they they were trying to get these speech contracts and they were mm -hmm. you know, they were trying to build um, you know some mass in the in this technology. I've worked with big companies before. I was acquired into EMC in a, in a previous company that I was involved with. And a problem big companies have is that if a market is not really building momentum and is not of critical mass, it doesn't make sense to go there. Yeah. So if you're IBM, if well, it's less IBM, than 50 million dollars. Toshiba, all these companies, yeah. they, they're looking for the next billion dollar deal, not, right, yeah. not the 50 you know, million dollar. A 50 million dollar market, who cares? Yeah, it's you a know. rounding error. Right, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's so insignificant that it doesn't really count, you know, so I, I don't think that it made that much sense to IBM, but, you know, there was a lot of buzz about the yeah. Lionbridge stuff, and it's kind of died away now. You yeah. Know, it's, it's really not Well, that, 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 that's the thing with, with uh, machine translation that I think, and, and, and uh, this is where uh, uh, I, I, I think I, there is a disconnect between the day-to-day -day things, what is mm -hmm. going on with, with uh, uh, Google Translate, with the translators, with the the widespread use of machine translation and the, the advances in that uh, statistical machine translation technology and the enterprise solutions. Mm -hmm. And I do the quote-unquote gesture here because yeah. um, when I go around, uh, I don't really see that much demand for enterprise machine translation. Mm -hmm. what, what's your experience? I mean... Yeah, this has been a problem. I mean, the... The place where there has been the greatest demand has been national security. Yeah. National security in G7. You know, this has been the the primary revenue foundation and base for language paper. Mm -hmm. The commercial markets have a much higher expectation of quality. You know, this was one of the reasons why I think language paper never really got any ground there. But I think we're beginning to see mass building in the commercial area, in the global enterprise. And we uh, at Asia Online, I'm involved with a number of initiatives, projects that are all in initial seedling phases right now, but they all have the potential to be massive. You know, yeah. so tens of millions of words that were only exist in only exist in one language today can become 
multilingual. You know yes, I mean? and 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 uh, and they want them to be at human quality, not not like gist. Exactly. So you know there has to be some human component in there. No MT on its own is going to get you to human quality. But but and 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 this is where I think that for, for SDL the value here is more. I'm acquiring a new technology company, and mm -hmm. that's uh, a story because SDL wants to be a, a technology right. company. The valuation in the stock exchange of a, a technology company is much mm -hmm. higher than a service company. So even right. though, uh, I don't know, 70, 80% of SDL's revenue comes from the services component, they mm -hmm. position themselves as a software company. Right. And this right. is why their, their stock value and, and uh, mm -hmm. multipliers are much higher than Lion Bridges, which right. is not perceived as a, right. as a right. technology company here in the US. But uh, I think that the, 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 the enterprise solution and component uh, is still intangible, it's very small. In my experience uh, at Milengo also, we, we're working with uh, projects, we use your technology, um, and they're all in, in study phases. Let's, mm -hmm. let's test this technology, let's yeah. deploy it for a few languages, and then, but the potential is massive and the quality right. improves very, very fast. Yeah. Uh, when you put the service component in on top of it. Yeah, no, I think we're we're really it's a very nascent market. You know, it's been MT has been pretty much crap for 40, 50 years, yeah. and now you're beginning to see some hope of really good MT. I yeah. remember in, in 1983 was the first time that I read an article about a Kurzweil um, scanner mm -hmm. that could do OCR, and the, the article it was a Xerox copy of an article that somebody showed to me that in the future, which is probably now, mm -hmm. uh, you would be able to scan articles. Nobody mm -hmm. talked about right, right. digital text. Yeah. You would be able to scan printed material, do an optical character recognition, mm -hmm. and process it through machine translation, and you would get outputs of right. fantastic. <laughs> and I knew people in 1983 that quit the, the industry and went to work for a bank because, oh, now computers are going to take over translation and there's not going to be any work for us. Yeah. And yet, 30 years later, we're right. here. <laughs> and it's going to stay that way for a while. You know, yeah, I think yeah, the technology yeah. is improving, but the, you know, we've played with various kinds of uh, combinations of data, um, you know, just massive amounts of data and see what, that, what happens with that. And there's nothing that beats a, a human machine cycle, you know, where humans tell it, this is wrong, this is wrong. And you, can, you need that human feedback to really drive, you know, the quality. And, yeah. the, and, and the best quality always comes from, uh, you know, sophisticated and informed human in input. So what I've been telling people who ask me about it, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and I know you shared the same point, is uh, MT is a productivity tool, something mm -hmm. that makes a professional translator do more faster, mm -hmm. and uh, for me, the, the 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 opportunity. If I had this tool uh, twenty years ago when I was mm -hmm. working on a computer doing translations, looking up words in dictionaries, mm -hmm. I would be very happy to just pass it through. Check is this usable? Mm -hmm. right. Yes, I'll edit it. No, it's crap. Mm -hmm. I'll throw it away. Right, and right. I've used it for personal uh, uh, interests, reading articles and things like that. And mm -hmm. it's pretty good. But I think we're also now reaching a point where you can look at MT as building a production line. Yes. And a production line means you've got to focus. It can only build you know, one kind of thing. It can't build everything. Yeah. There's no production line in the world that can do everything. In the same way, you know, Google is a production line that tries to do everything. So it doesn't do everything well. It does some things well. It doesn't do some things that yeah. well. But if you, as a, as a language service provider, say we're going to build an IT engine and it's going to focus only on software and then one that focuses only on networking, and you really start focusing on the kind of language that is used there, you should get significant long-term you know, competitive price advantages. Because well, the just price and the productivity. It's the the right. volume right. is right. there. So it's, as the productivity comes, the price. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's an opportunity to do stuff that you wouldn't do before. Right. Uh, it's what we call the... Uh, uh, MT as an alternative to ZT, where right, ZT is right. zero translation. Right? Yeah. But anyway, just uh, I think that to, to conclude this, this, this conversation, what, 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 what is your verdict? What do you think this means for the industry, the fact that uh, Language Weaver mm -hmm. uh, was acquired by SDL? I think it's great for a, hand, a few people at Language Weaver. It's great for their investors. I'm sure there's many employees there that have mixed feelings about 
what's happening. You know, I know a few of them and they're not as thrilled as the people that made lots of money. Yes, of course. <laughs> I think, you know, I mean, from other acquisitions that um, SDL has made, you know, we haven't really seen any momentum from those things. You know, we don't see a really cohesive integrated solution mm -hmm. story or, you know, well, a, a, what any, comes to mind is the Idiom world server. Right, so I mean, Idiom sort of just faded away. Yeah, well, it's yeah. not dead yet, but it has become, has lost its momentum. Yeah. I think that's possible here. You know, they're, they're talking right now about an in, independent organization, but if they build a dialogue between the MT guys and the human translation guys, then they well, could they, do something. They, they had the transparent language technology that they acquired before also, right. and it... Pff, Faded right. away, right. but anyway, I, I, um, from my perspective, I think it's 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 good. Uh, yeah. There's movement. Uh, mm -hmm. There's there's uh, uh, acquisitions happening. So mm -hmm. uh, there's there's activity in the industry, and this is ve always very good. Right. Um, I think that the next step is for us to watch and see uh, if SDL integrates that and, and uh, gets more productivity from their services for their clients or goes the way that uh, other acquisitions have gone. But we can also preempt them by getting tighter relationships with people, you know, like you and me working together. Yes. And we can show them how to do it right. Very good. <laughs> Kirti, great to talk to you. Great to talk to you. Let's uh, keep talking. Right. Okay.